Hi everyone, it's Angela from Cladfetti, and today I'm sharing how to make five different Halloween inspired cupcake charms out of polymer clay. So the first cupcake I'm making is a Frankenstein's monster. And to make the base for it, I have a silicon mold that I got from Etsy. And I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. I have some purple clay and I'm just dropping that into the mold and using my finger to squish it flat. I've overfilled it just a little bit too much, so I'm cutting off the excess with the blade and reshaping it so that it's smooth. So now for the head, I have a big ball of some bright green clay and I'm going to place it onto the top of the base and flatten it slightly into sort of a dome shape like a muffin top. Next, I'm flattening a small ball of black and then pinching one end to a point so that it ends up sort of like a watermelon seed. I've made three of these all together and I'm just placing them on top of the cupcake to look like hair with the wider ends next to each other. Then I'm using a needle tool to press a few lines into each bit of the hair. For the face, I'm using a dotting tool to poke some holes for the eyes to go. And adding in some little balls of black clay. and then adding on a thin snake for the mouth. I'm then arranging a few more thin snakes to look like stitches on the side of his head. For the cheeks, I'm attaching on small balls of light pink and flattening those a little bit. To make the bolts in the neck, I have a head pin and I'm trimming it shorter with some pliers. I've made two of these and I'm pushing one each into either side of the monster. And finally, to turn it into a charm, I'm adding in an eye pin at the top. Next is the little pumpkin cupcake. So for the base, I'm using some green clay. And for the head, I'm using orange. Then with my needle tool, I'm pressing a cross into the top of the ball. And making those lines longer along the sides all the way down to the base. I'm then creating more long lines in between each section so that there are eight little segments in total. Mm -hmm. 
I'm then rolling a little ball of tan clay into a teardrop shape and then cutting it in half using the thicker side as the stem. To make a leaf, I'm flattening a small green ball into a disc and creating a line down the middle with my needle tool. And then finally pinching one end to a point so it becomes a leaf. Next with a ball tool, I'm pressing a little indent into the top of the pumpkin and then adding on the stem and leaf. I then added on all the facial features and now I'm adding in an eye pin to turn it into a charm. Next up is a ghost cupcake with a witch's hat. For the base, I'm using some light grey clay. And for the head, I'm using white. To make the hat, I'm rolling one side of a large purple ball into a teardrop shape. and then cutting a little bit of the thick end to turn it into a cone. Now to make the black band, I'm rolling a small ball into a snake. And flattening it with a rolling pin. Then trimming the edges with the blade. And finally wrapping it around the base of the cone. And then popping the cone onto a flattened disc of purple clay. and then placing on a pre-made white heart cane onto the middle of the band. Then placing the whole thing onto the left side of the ghost head. Next, I've added the face and now an eye pin to turn it into a charm. So up next is a candy corn cupcake. To fill the mould, I'm using two colours starting with yellow. I'm adding this to the bottom of the mold and really squishing it in well. And then the orange goes on top. For the cupcake head, I'm using the same orange color. I've then got a piece of rolled out white clay and laying on a piece of plastic wrap over the top and I'm just making sure that it's really smooth and then pressing a round cookie cutter into it so that it cuts out a circle with smooth sides and then just peeling away that excess so that this would be the icing on the cake 
just placing that onto the cupcake head. I've then made some teeny tiny candy corn pieces to add onto the top. And I have a full tutorial on how to make it on my channel, which I'll leave in the description box below. So now to stick these on, I'm brushing on some liquid clay, so it's sort of like a glue. And I'm just brushing that onto the white icing. And adding the little candy corns on the top. Then I've added the face, and now in goes an eye pin to turn it into a charm. So next up is a little bat cupcake. And for the base colour, I'm using a dark grey. And for the top, a bright purple. Then to make the ears, I'm flattening a small ball of the same purple, just really lightly with my finger. And then pinching both ends into a diamond shape. I've then made a smaller one in pink and I'm placing that on top of the purple one. And cutting it in half to create two triangles. I am placing those onto the head and smoothing the edges together with the needle tool. Next, to make the wings, I'm cutting a circle out of a flattened out piece of the same purple clay with a cookie cutter. And then cutting it in half horizontally with my blade. And I'm just going to be using the top half for this. I'm then cutting it in half again, but this time vertically, so I have two sort of like wide pizza slices I guess. Then using a regular drinking straw, I'm cutting out four little half moon shapes from the bottom edges. And then cutting off the excess bits with a blade. I then place these onto the back of the bat's head, sort of more towards the side so that it sort of fans out. And then smoothing the edges to the head. And then lastly, I've added the face and then putting in an eye pin to turn it into a charm. So now after all the cupcakes have been baked according to my package's instructions, I'm securing the eye pins with super glue so that they don't fall out. And to make them look more like real cupcakes, I'm not going to glaze them, but just leave them as they are with a matte finish. And that's all for this tutorial, if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!